hello and welcome to 17th J meter training video tutorial in this tutorial we will have a look at what's new with the new version of Apache J meter 3.0 which is a major release after almost a gap of uh, 10 years there have been intermediate releases with version 2.0 but 3.0 is a major release so let's see what we will have a look at in this session so agenda of this session is well of course we need to download new version of jmeter from jmeter apache.org download jmeter url we will have a look at new ui elements in this session for the new jmeter version we will see couple of different features like validate feature sample timeout feature apache Groovy bundle json path post processor summarizer display and new built-in html reporting format so let's begin i have already downloaded jmeter so i won't repeat this action again once having downloaded you can start it from jmeter.batch or jmeter.sh file depending on the operating system you are on and then you will see the new jmeter gui in this gui i have opened the project file jmeter project.jmx which we have used in previous sessions as well which is a mercury to a registration site so this should not be something new so let's see what is new we have uh, in this version of jmeter first of all you may have realized that ui elements have been changed drastically and they look far better and improved in comparison to previous jmeter version so we have test plan thread group and some uh, jmeter configuration uh, elements which have which all have new icons we also have samplers with new icons here as well as the timers and listeners like view results in tree there have also been changes in the http sampler itself for example if i open a sampler for welcome page then there are two sections now basic and advanced so all of the options which were available in one pan in the previous releases have been divided into two different pans which are basic and advanced which makes it uh, easy to view the different elements and we do not have to scroll up and down in one section the advanced section contains uh, the features about uh, retrieving embedded resources and uh, saving the responses this is also applicable for HTTP request default element which is a configuration which we had seen in the previous video tutorial to make something globally available for all of the HTTP samplers so here also we have basic and advanced sections now in advanced section here we can also configure the source address which is IP hostname which can be used for uh, load testing with uh, features like IP spoofing wherein you want to have your application believe that the load requests are not coming from just one system but from various systems and we can also save the response as MDF5 hash all right let's see what goes on when we execute a test so I have a listener called view results and tree here and my thread group has setting off well using a variable users which is defined as one default value under user defined variables and if you see the time of test I have set as 180 seconds so let's execute this and see what new we have all right so test has begun execution executing now and we have different samplers come up there are some errors but let's not worry about them and this test would run for about 180 seconds so let me stop it now so we have uh, new icons even for the sample result and view results entry and when i click on it i can see all of the previous uh, se sections which we used to have earlier for example sample results request and response data we see that registration page request has failed which is uh, because of the assertion failure so that's not something of significance here and then we have further sample results which is create account page and since we are using transaction controller the result is shown for transaction controller as well which is also failed because of the failure in the sample which come under transaction controller which is registration page which we saw 
All right, there is one more feature available with new JVTab version which is validate, which you can access by right clicking on a thread group. So when I right click, there is a validate option and if I click validate, then the test is done for just one thread, one iteration and that's all. So for example, if you modify your script and then you want to debug it, then you don't have to go around the thread group, modify thread group to one user and change the time duration just to be able to see if your script works or not. You can just right click on the thread group and say validate and it would run your test for one thread, one iteration, no pauses or delays, which would help in uh, debugging a uh, test script if there is any error or if we want to modify a few things. There is also a sample timeout available as a new feature in uh, JMeter 3.0. This is a preprocessor and it allows you to apply a timeout on the elements that are in the scope. So here in the timeout is applicable for welcome page, registration page, as well as create account page. This test element is supposed to be used when individual timeouts like connection timeout or response timeouts are not sufficient. So we have to set its value sufficient long, for example, here it is set for 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds, so that it would not trigger any abnormal timeouts, but it is uh, short enough to interrupt the uh, samples which are is stuck in the process of test run. All right, let's see what we have more in JMeter 3.0. JMeter 3.0 also brings in Apache Groovy bundle with JMeter, which means that we do not have to configure any extra library to be able to use JMeter version uh, 3.0 along with Groovy scripts. And then we also have JSON path post processor as a post processor element, which could be added uh, from here, uh, wherein, yeah, this is a JSON path post processor. This can be used uh, to extract values from the JSON in the similar manner like regular expression, expression extractor, but we will have a different uh, section on it, so let's not worry about it. We also have a more readable summarizer display when we execute tests from command line. Uh, here in uh, the results of the test run would be displayed in hour, minutes and seconds format. So let me try to run this from command line and see how this goes. So to run this, I would just say hyphen n, which is for command line or non GUI, t, and then the test plan. And then the test run has begun. We would have results come up in a while. Yep, so this is the first result, wherein we can see the result timings are in hour, minute, and second format. So we have about 0.7 or 1 request on an average for now, average time of 692, minimum 387, and max of 1710. Three failures, we know that this is because of the registration sample. Okay, let me uh, stop this run because uh, there's nothing more important here. JMeter 3.0 also brings in a new form of uh, reporting, which is HTML reporting. And uh, here in, uh, we have graphs, uh, which could be plotted either after test run or from an existing JMeter log file which gives us uh, a really fancy report for management. This is a great improvement on JMeter because so far we did not have any such reporting capabilities built in in JMeter. But we would have a look at a uh, new dashboard in a different section because it deserves a video tutorial for its own. So let's see if we left out anything. No, we covered everything. Yep, uh, so that's about it in this session. Next session we will see HTML reporting Till now, keep learning. Ciao.